Hello everybody! So in today's video, I'm going to show you how to download and install OptiFabric for Minecraft Java in 2025. So let's get started. The first thing you want to do is go to your web browser and I will have links in the description if you're interested, but simply go to the search box and search up Modrinth like so. Modrinth is a website with all of Minecraft modifications including OptiFabric. So, Simply go on modern.com and now you should be on the modern homepage. So simply go on the top of the website to discover content and go down to mod packs. Now go to your search box and search up OptiFabric like so. Once you found OptiFabric, simply click on the name and now you are in OptiFabric. So what you want to do here is simply go on versions and from here you want to select a version that you want to download. So as there's different versions being updated every time, what you want to do is go to game versions and here you can select the versions that you want to play. So for example, if I want to play the latest version 1.1.4, I click 1.1.4 and here I can download two versions of OptiFabric. So, for example, once you found the one that you want, simply click the green download button and you now find yourself with a ML pack file. So, what is a ML pack file? Well, it's a list of mods that the Modern app can read and will download for you. But if you do want to get the Modern app, there's a way to easily counter there and it's quite easy. All you have to do is simply go to a new tab and you want to search up a website called mrpack to zip. So simply type in mrpack to zip like so. And here you should see modern pack to zip converter on GitHub. So simply click that website. And now you should have three options to download your mods from. So if you already downloaded your ML pack file, you can just scroll down to use existing ML pack. Simply click choose a file and select the ML pack file. Make sure that you are on the downloads folder and you can actually see your ML pack file. Once you actually found your ML pack file, just select it and click open. Now, what you want to do is simply click download. And if we go to our download section, we can see we now have a zip folder with 28 megabytes of mods. So that's how you get the mods from these ML pack files. Now, what you want to do here is simply go to a new tab because we also need to get fabric. And to get fabric, you need to go to a new tab and search up fabric Minecraft. You want to get the installer, so simply go on fabricmc.net, click on the link, and go on the blue download button. Now, go on download for Windows, and here you should have fabric installer and OptiFabric. Now, what you want to do is close your web browser, you don't need it anymore, and you can now go to your downloads folder by going to your file explorer and go into your downloads folder. Here you should have these three items. Number one, you can delete the ML pack file, you don't need it. And number two, you need to extract the OptiFabric zip. The way you can do that is by right clicking it and clicking extract all. If you have apps like 7-zip or WinRAR, use the methods of doing it because you might not see this extract all option from windows that shows up. So just click an option called extract and extract. And now you have all your mods easily accessible. What you want to do now is go back to your downloads folder like so. So you see three items again and simply go in the OptiFabric folder and copy the mods folder to your downloads folder just to make everything nice and clean. So copy, downloads, 
and paste. Like so. Now you should have four items. Now, what you want to do is delete the OptiFabric folder. You don't need it. And you want to delete the OptiFabric zip. Now, this is all you need. What you want to do is double click the fabric installer. Make sure that the Minecraft version is the same version as all your mods, so your OptiFabric. So make sure that it is the right version. If it is, click install, OK, and close. Once you're done, simply go to the Minecraft launcher and wait for the Minecraft launcher to load up. And then we will be able to replace our mods folder with the new mods folder. Here we can see we have fabric loader. And what we can do is go to installations. We can hover over fabric loader, we can go all the way to the folder icon, click it, and here we are in the dot .minecraft folder. What you want to do is find the mods folder if you have one, delete it, and you want to go to your downloads folder, you want to select your mods folder, you want to copy your mods folder, you want to use the top left arrow to go back to your previous folder which is back to minecraft and click paste. Now you have your mods, like so, in your dot minecraft folder. What we can do is simply go to the minecraft launcher, go to play, make sure fabric loader is selected, and click play. So now let's just wait for that, there you go, and now minecraft with optifabric will load up, so let's just wait for that. Okay, here we can see that we have OptiFabric, we have Minecraft 1.1.4 slash fabric with 146 mods, which use the mod list for that. And if we go to a single player or server or realms, it works with everything as its client side. We can easily go to a world and test out or OptiFabric. So OptiFabric is obviously meant to give you more performance, shown by the sodium renderer right here. If we go to our options, we can see we have more options to change right here. We can go to video settings and we also have sodium extra as well with more things that we can reduce and change to get more FPS. As well as that, we can go back to video settings and add shader packs just like Optifine, like so. And if we go to our controls and keybinds, we can go down and here we can see we have Zoomify, which we can go to Zoom and that is C for example, and C that will be your Optifine Zoom. So yeah, that's how we get OptiFabric to get up to find features in Minecraft Java. So if you like today's video, make sure to like and subscribe and see you for the next one. Bye.